right guys, next upgrade we're gonna do, since there was a hole cut in here, I bought this rod holder. It's a flush mount rod holder and then I got this extension bar. So that's gonna pop in right there. So I found the plug that they cut out and I glued it back in the silicone, but we're just gonna rip that right back out. So one and one quarters drill bit. Okay, that was easy. This should just pop right in there. Uh, not quite. It's a little more convincing. Whoops. Jeez. Okay, be careful not to do that. <laughs> So close. That should do it. I'll just pop it in with the old foot tip. There we go. Nice thing about this mount when I don't have the rod holder in it, it has this plug on it. So it gives a real clean clean look, nothing to trip on. Rod holder just pops in like, like that. That's it. And with the other rod holder, I got some quarter inch carriage bolts, some nuts and some wing nuts, or some washers and wing nuts. I just bolted it right onto the side of the VersaTrack system. And that's pretty sturdy. I don't think any fish is gonna be able to rip that out of there. <laughs> The next thing we're going to be doing is routing the network cable from the front unit through the deck. Pop out right, right here. Come all the way down through the rod locker. Up through here. And that should come out and be able to plug into the unit here. There it is. Here's what you get when you order the 20 foot cable. You get the cable itself, the two screw on ends for it, and then you get this plug in case you have to drill a hole. I don't think I'm gonna have to drill a hole. I should be able to squeeze it in between the wires. If not, I'll just drill one right there. Not a big deal. Okay, let's see if this plug will even fit through here. Oh, got it. Now we have to take out the foot pedal again. Hey, that was easy. Okay. We can do that. one of these screw-on caps and an o-ring. One. This end. Just pops apart. Pop these little tabs off. And then it clips together around the plug. Okay, I've gone ahead and taken the ram mount off. So we can slide down some paracord. Just drop a whole bunch in, down in there. That should be enough. And then I'm gonna work on threading that cable through hole in the rod locker. Might have to drill a hole. 
Okay, so I wasn't going to be able to fit the uh, cable through there, so I just cut a one and one quarter hole through the rod locker. There's my plug. Here's the paracord. I had to fish that out by sticking my arm up through here and grabbing it. Sorry I didn't film that. It was really pretty tough. So I'm going to tie this on here and then we'll use the plug to seal up that hole. Okay, I got the plug through. Had to cut the zip tie here. It barely fits through this hole. I uh, ripped this little cover in the process, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to get everything hooked back up and we'll be good to go. Okay, here's a better view of how to install this little screw on bit. So you just put your o-ring over. This part breaks in half. Just uh, pinch those little tabs off. And then it only really goes on one way. Click, click, that's it. Okay, so the new uh, cable goes into where it says pan optics. It's in the place like that. Screw it down. Power cable. And transducer. That's it. Should be all set now. Okay, trying to film this with one hand. Here's the little plug. So this will snap onto that wire and then slide down into that hole. Right there. The hole's not a perfect circle, but there you go. Pretty close. I'm just gonna uh, bolt all this back up. Okay, that was it, last step. Uh, there's the cord coming through the hole there. I just used these little uh, things off the transom when the transducer was bolted on the back. Took a handful of those, three of them. Bolted them up and it goes back through there. Tucked all the wire up under here and that is it, we are all done. The last thing I wanna mention, I did go ahead and bolt this down. It's just, why not? Okay, so all you have to do, once they're plugged in, that's it. So, uh, you can go to settings, communications, marine network, and then you can see there, I've named the one on the front helm and the one on the back bow. And now if you go to your map, you can see I've made a waypoint here called home. When I made that waypoint, it automatically showed up over here. It's pretty cool. So I could be in the back marking stuff that I find on side scan, oops, and then come up to the front and fish it and don't have to mark it on this unit. So that saves a lot of time and a lot of energy. All right, so thank you guys for watching. This was part three of my Garmin upgrades. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned. We're going to get out on the water and catch some big ends. Bye.